and welcome back to the Beach Mom Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books, and today I'm continuing my spotlight. These are book themed. So bookstores, book binding, book clubs, librarians, anything that fits into that mold. This video is going to cover authors that start with, their last name start with L and M. Let me know which of these that you've read, which of these that you love, if I need to bump any of them up on my TBR, anything else that you want to talk about down in the comments is the place to do it. On your way down to comment, don't forget to stop and hit the subscription and the notification bell. That is going to tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week so you don't miss anything. And the subscription keeps my channel growing, which has been absolutely amazing. And I can't thank you enough because I'm just having so much fun. All right, let's get to this spotlight in three, two, one, go! The first one is exciting because it could be a great book for the Cozy Road Trip Challenge. Because you don't hear a lot of books from this state. The book is Can't Judge a Book by Its Murder. This is by Amy Lillard. It's the first book in the Main Street Book Cozy Mystery series. It is set in Mississippi. I know what I'm using to fill my Mississippi. This features bookstore owner Arlo Stanley. Next up, we have Trouble on the Books. This is the first book in the Castle Bookshop Cozy Mystery series. This is by Essie Lang. It says that it's set in New York. It features bookstore owner Shelby Cox, who must hit the books to learn the ropes before she loses a killer in the stacks. Oh, sounds fabulous, and I love the cover of this one. Next up, we have Plaid and Plagiarism. This is the first book in the Highland Bookshop Cozy Mystery series by Molly McRae. Our main character is Janet Marsh, who's the co-owner of Highland Bookshop in Scotland. Fabulous. Next up, we have Missing Marlene. This is the first book in the Jane Stewart and Winky Cozy Mystery series. This is by Evan Marshall. It says our main character is Jane Stewart, who is a literary agent and a widow, and Winky, her turn to shell cat. This takes place in New Jersey. Awesome. Next up, we have Murder is the Deal of the Day. This is by Christine Matthews. It's part of the Gil and Claire Hunt Cozy Mystery Series. It says our main characters, Gil and Claire Hunt, are bookstore owners. This takes place in Missouri, and there's not a lot of cozy mysteries in Missouri, so that's perfect as well. Next up, we have Well Read Then Dead. This is the first book in the Read em and Eat Cozy Mystery Series by Terry Farley Moran. It says our main characters are Sassy and Bridgie, who own Read em and Eat Bookstore Cafe in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. That sounds absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love reading books that take place in Florida. All right, next up we have A Book Signing to Die For. This is the first in the Cozy Mysteries to Die For series by Judy Moore. Next up, we have A Killer Ending. This is the first book in the Snug Harbor Cozy Mystery series by Karen McInerney. Next up, we have a series that is favorite among the Kill and Time of Cozy's group. Books Can Be Deceiving is the first book in the Library Lovers Cozy Mystery series by Jen McKinley. Next up, we have Murder in Volume. This is the first book in the Murder by the Yard Cozy Mystery series by D.R. Meredith. It says our main character, Megan Clark, is a librarian, and she is also a member of a mystery reading group. This takes place in Texas. The last one that I have is the Joe Gray Cat Cozy Mystery series, and I apologize. I did not write down the name of book one. I'll still put it up here when I go to edit. The main character is Joe Gray, who's a private investigator, and uh, his girlfriend and their sidekick, Cats. This takes place in California. I've heard actually really good things about the Joe Gray Cat series, and it's been around for a long time. All right, everybody, let me know which of these that you've read. Give me a big thumbs up for this video, and until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everybody!